and my daughters they my daughters are living me at living with me at the time and i'm literally looking out like waiting for the feds to come pick me up again when i tell this story i'm not like telling as a proud moment but i'm just telling like literally fight for my dreams good morning guys it is august 22nd 2024 and we have 71 days before we launch the all dreams platform to athletes worldwide man uh everything it just seems like it was just at 75 days the thing about being here like the time just go goes past the days just go past so fast i don't know why but if i stay for the duration of the time we will launch like tomorrow <laughs> like literally like that's how fast the days go past here um but 71 days before we launched the all dreams platform exciting thing got some of the mocks for uh the website the the landing page didn't you know never had a landing page uh but we'll have a landing page between the end of this week and early next week so that's exciting it is 8 6 a.m and i got really really good rest yesterday i did not go play basketball uh my body feels immaculate so that's a good thing i want to talk about becoming a ceo i want to talk about becoming a ceo because i don't believe i'm there yet i'm a founder but i am becoming a ceo and this guy comes by past every morning just loud bike this bike is super loud uh but yeah i'm becoming a ceo i'm becoming a ceo and when i say this is because look when i first started entrepreneurship with those storm records they used to call me the ceo <laughs> The CEO of Doe Storm Records, right? That's what they used to call me. And uh, I had, I knew nothing about being a CEO, what a CEO did, the CEO responsibilities, the daily tasks of a CEO. Didn't know anything about it. All the way to the next business, all the way to the next business, all the way to the next business, all the way to the next business. I never knew what a CEO actually did. And as I'm the founder of All Dreams, I'm actually becoming a CEO and knowing what it takes to run a company. The founder of a company has the vision for the company. That's where it starts. And the vision that I have for All Dreams, I'm concrete on that vision okay that vision is really solidified it changes as you go with you know little things like um the vision may be may get bigger but the initial vision it's it's concrete and you have to stay with the vision right you cannot get knocked off the vision the vision is so important because as the visionary and as the founder you have to lead everyone else to believe in this vision right but the ceo has different things that are happening you know as far as um raising money making sure the company doesn't run out of money things like that now i'm learning that right <laughs> because i am not a good fundraiser right now eventually i believe i will be right that's one of the things that i want to get good at is being a fundraiser but it's also putting people in the right places the operations the engineers the marketing right and overseeing those things to make sure that vision of the founder is seen through daily in the business so as i'm learning also customers right like knowing who your customers are that's a huge part of being a ceo and i being able to identify things like that 
So I'm becoming a CEO. I'm becoming a CEO. And young guys, sit, take your time in the process because it does. It takes time. It takes experience. It seems like everybody now, they want to get to every place so, so fast. And I think that's a detriment to their success. I say young guys should take their time and learn. Maybe, maybe not even start something so fast, right? Maybe be an entrepreneur, maybe learn, or maybe start something, a side hustle or something like that. Um, but the experience for one thing is one of the most important things when you are building a company. Like if I was to start building all dreams, when I started Swag University, it would have wound up being Swag University, right? It wouldn't have been successful. Like if I would have started it, you know, same same timing, everything like that, because of course everything has to, has to line up. But if same timing, same everything, I still would not have been the person to make this a successful company, okay? Now, learning to be C, uh, learning to be a ceo learning to you know learning as a founder to stay firm on vision learning my customers learning uh product market fit all of these things it's really liaisoning me into being a ceo and it's also levels to a ceo it's going to be levels that i can take all dreams and it's going to be levels that i can't take all dreams to and I'm okay with saying that, okay? At some point, all dreams may get so big that we have to hire a CEO that is a better CEO than me. One thing I'm not afraid of is I'm not afraid of growth, okay? And I'm not afraid of delegating. I'm not afraid of stepping back either, right? As long as the vision stays concrete and you know stays what i believe it can be as far as dedicated for athletes uh steer, uh storing sharing capturing their sports journey in one place building that community and able to earn money and eventually they'll be able to release products and a lot more things um as long as that vision and that mission of supporting 1 million athletes as long as that vision stays firm i'm okay like even if you look at my instagram my instagram says creative director it doesn't say ceo right because i don't believe i am qualified yet to be the ceo um so yeah just wanted to talk about that real fast that's a good thing to document um thank you for anybody that tunes in Again, I'm documenting this journey uh, daily. Uh, I know it can be, it, it is, it's repetitive, but business is repetitive. Uh, anything you want to do is repetitive. If you're going to be a basketball player in the gym every single day, it's repetitive. It's repetitive. These are, you know, these are the requirements. It, you know, it, it's, it's no luck in this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's no luck. So... I'm going to go ahead and start work, and hopefully this helped out a little bit. And if it did, I'll continue to do it. I don't mind holding this thing in front of me. All right? So, all right, you guys have a good day. Peace. So, it's 11.08 a.m., and... I'm uploading today's episode and I'm thinking about the title of the episode and in the episode I talk about fighting in the episode I talk about fighting for your dreams right And I get to thinking about times when I had to fight, like literally, like literally fight for my dreams. 
And I'll tell a little a quick story when I literally had to fight for my dreams. And I talk in the in the this last previous episode about like literally having to fight basketball wise like fisticuffs. But I'll tell you another story. You might have seen the episode when I talk about how I built and sold my container business which was I like to brag because like I never knew like that was an exit it's like my first exit of a business because you know I actually built something and sold it It wasn't like I made a ton of money selling it or anything like that but it still was something that was a proud moment for me realizing that I actually built something and was able to sell it in building this container store and you should go watch the episode but where we were building it we were building it in at my grandmother's house like in her like parking lot like in in her driveway you know we have a 20-foot container and we're building it and at the time my uncle he was living in the house and in order for us to you know build the store we needed to hook up to the electric in the house or whatever right so sometimes he wouldn't answer the door and I mean we weren't building every single day but you know sometimes I don't know he was on shit sometimes <laughs> like real talk so sometimes he wouldn't open the door or but this one particular time like it was it started happening over and over again and we had limited time to do it so uh and plus I'm hiring the builder to come and this particular time he <laughs> went into so he, he went into the house and he turned like somehow he turned off the electric or whatever and this had been going on for so long and my dream at the time was to build this container store and build multiple container stores and place them all around the United States so this was my dream to do this store right and when I tell this story I'm not like telling as a proud moment but I'm just telling like look no matter what like I don't care like I'm going to fight or you know literally fight for what I'm my dreams like physically like for real but my uncle at the time I mean he's I mean he's still my uncle but he turned off the electric then he went out and this had been going on for some time and uh, it was it was just like yo we're trying to get this done we're close to getting it done and you're just playing these games or whatever so and it was really because I wouldn't give him a ride to some place. That's what it really was. He came out the house he's like, "Yo, can you take me down the street?" Something like that. And I'm like, "Man, like we're actually late and we have to get, you know, we have to get done what we're doing today in a little amount of time. We're close to the end." So no, I can't take you. So he walks down the street, but when he leaves, he cuts off the electric. So the electric circuit to where we were working at so we couldn't do it by the time he came back i approached him about it i'm like yo um yo why did you do that you know what i'm saying and we really got into a physical altercation and he got the bad end of that altercation so point about what i'm saying is that that happened and just an example of look if I have to fight for my dreams and you should tentatively want to fight for your dreams not physically not something that's going to put you in jail or anything like that but it's just an example like man like when you 
want to put something in the world, like you have to fight for it. You know, like you you have to fight for it. And it's not a proud moment for me because, look, at that point we had to move the container from there and finish working on it someplace else. He called the police and, you know, I had to, you know, get away and things like that. But it's not a proud moment, but I just think, like, man, like how passionate I am about my dreams and how I will literally fight for my dreams and the things that I want to put into the world. And that was just an example. One thing that I forgot about that whole ordeal with that fight with my uncle is I seen so much hate during that time as I'm trying to do something that no one believed in. And as we were getting closer and closer to completion, it was so much hate that was going on, right? And after the fight, this is one thing that I've kind of block out of my mind because like I said, it was so much hate. And after the fight, he calls the police and literally tried to extort me for thousands of dollars over that incident. Like thousands of dollars he tried to extort me out of. If I didn't pay him a certain amount of money, he was going to tell the police. And at that same time, I was going through that ordeal with the federal government. And he literally tried to extort me out of thousands of dollars and it's thousands of dollars that I didn't have. So therefore he tried to say if my grandmother didn't give him these thousands of dollars because he said I broke his rib, he was going to go and get me arrested with everything that was already going on. And it just makes me think back like why I'm here in Colombia it's because of things like that. There's so many things that has happened to me where it's just blocked out of my mind or I just conveniently don't think about. Whereas like, man, that was a really, really bad time. Like me and my daughters, they, my daughters are living, me at, living with me at the time. And I'm literally looking out the window of our mini mansion in East Amherst like waiting for the feds to come pick me up again you know so and that's family there's no telling you know, what, what strangers will do and that's why like I enjoy like being secluded because I don't have that type of hate Because that's what that was. Like, I wasn't bothering anybody, just trying to build a business and take care of my family. That's all I've ever been trying to do is just build business off my ideas that I create and take care of my family. And that's crazy. Like, like he really tried to extort me. I'm a single dad trying to build a business, and he tried to extort me. When nobody even believed that we were able, we were going to be able to do what we did, and as closer we got, the more opposition came. Yeah, for sure. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, only, only thing I would, only thing I would uh, take out is I would just say any athlete can capture, share, and store their entire sports journey. I would take out in their dreamers vault. Just take that out. No need. No need for for that to be in there. Uh, this complete play? No, no, no. Just in their dreamers vault. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the yeah. So any athlete can capture, share, and store their entire sports journey. Simple, simple as uh, that. Uh, fine. Now we have that I show add, that showcase. I would add this because mm -hmm. I have that screenshot. Right. 
we, and we, then, we, yeah, we, we have this. Yes. Yeah. So main thing, how we are, we have to show this basically. The, the dreamers, we'll call it the dreamers vault. Dreamers vault monthly, uh, monthly plan. Mm -hmm. And then we'll call the yearly, the dreamers vault yearly plan. Call it the um oh shoot. I'm gonna call it the Dreamers of All Premium <laughs> What the heck is going on here? Alright, I sent I'm gonna send you I send you that uh that through either email or text message or whatever so you have it. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess we are done with the content and most probably when next week you can be able to see your website live. Perfect, perfect. Sounds good, man. It's exciting. And maybe uh, next week I need your like uh, go daddy thing again. Okay. With the web developer, right? Because right now what we ask for is for uh, app development, to creating APIs and all. And right. next week, next week or this week, on weekend we need uh, your code and anything again uh, and have you uh, budgeted the server? no not yet I'll do it uh, okay huh. you can do that thing meanwhile uh, while we are creating the uh, website too okay yeah I'll do it I'll do it <laughs>